So, are you into Dracula? Do you like dress up for goth weekends? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Whitby, England isn't the first place people usually think of when they hear the name Dracula, but it should be. This ancient fishing village dates back almost 2,000 years and has deep connections to the legendary vampire. My friend Mark Reed explained. What is this um, place? There's been a pier since Norman times, like the 12th century. Wow. In the book, Dracula, ship crashes into this, and then... The black dog jumped off here and ran up the 199 steps, which is where we're going To now. the abbey? Yeah. According to legend, once Dracula arrived on Whitby shores in the form of a huge black dog, he bolted up these very steps that led to Whitby Abbey. It's not that bad, actually, but I'm a little winded. Oh, it is creepy looking. It looks like a big mouth open right there, like a cyclops mouth. Delphine is the groundskeeper who told us more about the Abbey's history and folklore. When was this Abbey built originally? Well, the first abbey actually dates from the 650, and that was built by St. Tilda, who was a princess. And then the abbey had been destroyed by the Viking around 900. Okay. But this one we're looking at is actually the Gothic abbey. When was it uh, abandoned? Basically, in 1539, Henry VIII uh, became head of the Church of England uh, to Marianne Boleyn, and one of the things he does is he closed all the monasteries. So Whitby Abbey was one of those. So this is where the Dracula myth is? Absolutely. Um, Bram Stoker used to come on holiday in Whitby, and he probably saw that and then just got inspired by it. So the dog, when it jumped off the ship, it came up to the abbey, right? Exactly. Just down the road, you've got St. Mary's graveyard, where he bites his first victim. Graveyards, they always track the weirdos. Do you get people like hiding behind a pillar and popping out and be like, ah, oh, I want to suck your blood? No, thankful, thankfully not. For a Dracula fan and inveterate trinket shopper, the last stop is definitely the highlight. This entire Dracula table makes me think of Dracula. <laughs> Ian Thompson's Dracula's Whitby. That makes me think of Dracula. <gasps> and Dracula keychains? OMG. Vampire relish. I did not realize that Dracula was into relish, but apparently, he was a spicy little dude. Blood tonic cordial. That makes me think of it. Up <laughs> Dracula. Yeah, you got some? Oh, let's go crazy. Blood tonic cordial. Whoa. Fantastic. Tastes like cough syrup. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, it may look like tattooing, but did Luke Skywalker have cable? I don't think so.